And that's a good segue into like another topic, you know, um, when you're creating things, uh, you really do need to just be constantly creating in some form, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's like the second you kind of stop creating and, and, and start doing other things or whatnot is usually when you start encouraging like the burnout or the, the writer's block or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's kind of a dangerous trap to get in because a lot of times you might get intimidated by your own project. You might think like, this is something that's going to take forever to finish. And, uh, you know, like you start putting it off and start doing other things. And then you start doing things that aren't extremely creative. Mm -hmm. And, uh, next thing you know, that project never gets lifted off the ground. And it was something that you were at one point super, super passionate about, you know? Yeah. Um, it's interesting. Cause I, I, I have a very like scattered approach to creating, uh, stuff which is kind of a blessing sure. and a curse because <laughs> um, I, I it's really hard for me to sit down and work on something that I don't want to be working on you know yeah. especially at this level where it's like it's not my job it's not this like I'm spending my time doing this I want to be doing something that I want to work right. and so it's, it's interesting because it's really just kind of throwing a lot and kind of seeing what sticks and what comes through and I think right. that's why um I'm especially drawn to short form stuff, right? Like I really love like limited series on Netflix, you know, where it's just like the one season or, um, you know, same thing with like podcasts where it's like one and done. Like I just find that format so fascinating and that yeah. allows me to like get fully invested in something, create it and then put it out there but not have to worry Absolutely. about continuing like that same kind of drive that can uh, sometimes get exhausted right. if you work with one one set of characters or one medium for for a while. Right. Um, but now correct me if I'm wrong, but mm -hmm. uh, you also, you tend to, hold a bunch of different projects in your belt specifically so that you can jump back and forth between them and like yeah without well, just, yeah so so i would say like right off the bat one of the most important things is consistency if you're trying to build up an audience right like sure. that's really important um that being said i'm not uh, totally in a position where i'm trying to uh build my audience if that makes sense <laughs> like no, yeah, I, yeah. I would love I to you. like you know i get people i put out press releases i do social media i do all that kind of stuff but at right. the same time, like, I know that I'm in school. I mean, like right now, like, you know, the coronavirus hit and then just my creative energy was zapped and it became yeah. very, very difficult for me to create and meet my deadlines and juggle school and all that kind of stuff. Sure. Now I'm kind of lucky because I'm in a position that I, you know, I have about 200 subscribers on my podcast, which is a nice modest following, but most of them are other content. Oh, thank you. <laughs> most <laughs> of them are other content creators. Most of them are uh, understanding and supportive, right? Like I don't have a lot of right. tools. I don't have a lot of people bashing yeah. me for not putting out stuff. And so I kind of have that flexibility. And yeah. I understand that for me, like this is nice, but it's not what I totally want to be creating. Um, Newton's Dark Room Presents, which is my monthly podcast. Um, I put out monthly just because I wanted something to be coming out while I work on these larger projects. Right. Um, like one larger project I started in, um, I started writing in the summer of last year and I'm still working on the scripts. Like I'm just now finishing that up kind of thing and yeah. getting that submitted to some, some different stuff. Um, and so it, it can just take a while, you know, so that I yeah. used to kind of like keep people up. Um, but I do have multiple projects. Uh, I, I can't do any of them regularly, any other ones. Like I can have the once a month and it's really difficult. Sure. I've tried some other times, but it doesn't work as much, but I just put out things whenever I can to build up that audience, to build up my resume. Right. Like if I'm right. putting out cochlea, which is a nonfiction show, that's a very different beast than, you know, Newton's dark room presents, which is fiction. And that allows me to kind of dip my toes in these different areas. Yeah. So that whenever I have the time and energy to sit down and really work with one, like I am now, I kind of have that experience, know what I'm doing. I have a little bit of a following that I can, uh, you know, right. leverage for that initial listening and then uh, kind of go from there. So I'm, yeah. I'm more like treating it as a learning experience than like well, a, sure. a job right now. But I also love it. I love I've been doing it for like two years now, you know, so I could definitely see this evolving, especially as I get more established stuff set up into something that right. I think more of like a career kind of thing. Right. And, and you, you're, you're doing a good job at like at figuring out what like some of your assets are and then able you're like capitalizing yeah. on like every different corner of that like um yeah. the the podcast you just mentioned what what was it called again the, uh, the cochlea. nonfiction cochlea that that's yeah. about like specifically the the, the art of sound right in, yes in, like yeah in audio it, reproduction it, yeah because that's what i'm going to school for um audio right. engineering at cal state dominguez hills and so it, it i was treating that as like a study guide kind of thing so mm -hmm. i'd have a test on midi coming up i'd write the episode on midi i would 
uh, you know, have to research the episode, have to be able to yeah. explain it. I would say it, I would edit myself. So I'd hear myself saying it, you know, so yeah. I'm, I'm just exposed to it a lot of the way. Um, yeah. And I did really well. And this semester, and then the other rule for that was I never wanted it to get in the way of school, which is a reason why that did not have a regular setting. Sure. Uh, and this semester is a great example where we had an, uh, a professor who was on leave come back. And so kind of adjusting to that was iffy. And then of course, like coronavirus and COVID and just all that other stuff. Like it was yeah. just a weird semester from the get go and it hasn't gotten better for me. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. um, but because of that, I haven't released a new episode this year. And that's just because like, I wanted to focus on the schooling and other things. Right. Um, well, and, yeah. and, and, and like, you know, there's, there are things to obviously prioritize, you know, um, if you go completely guns blazing and just drop your entire like surroundings mm -hmm. and you can cut people out of your life and just go, silent for hours and hours on end just trying to like create things you know yeah. you're, you're going to be you're going to be adopting some unhealthy practices basically well and i think just along the line like i think overworking is a very very dangerous thing um Definitely. i love working like it's it's something that i have to be kind of hyper aware of otherwise it's very easy for me to get into that mood and kind of sure. like you said like neglect friends and that kind of thing yeah um but and then that's kind of a problem because I'm a very ambitious person, right? Like I have these big ideas. I might launch something like I love just putting stuff out. I, one of my biggest tips is like, just create, right? It's like, yeah, it doesn't matter if people listen, if you mess up, if you whatever, like just create, you'll learn so much. Absolutely. People won't care. They'll grow up there, move on. Right. Yeah. Um, but I do have to be just really aware because I can, I, it's easy to spread yourself too thin. Right. Definitely. And so that's why I think hit, trying to hit, if you're trying to build an audience, hitting those consistent goals, right. Setting clear, consistent goals. I want to put out one episode a month, one episode every yeah. two weeks. Make it easy. You know, don't do that. Like I'm going to put out an Absolutely. episode every single day. It's oh like, give yourself yeah. a break. Yeah. It's okay. Like set an achievable goal and that's going to go so much further for you than, than burning right. yourself out, trying to do all this different stuff, trying to, you know, post on social media every single yeah. day and put out an episode every day and every other week do this and your bonus right. live stream and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, you just watched a clip from my creative podcast. If you'd like to check out the full episode, you can support me over on Patreon. And if not, you can subscribe to check out more clips coming here soon.